Hi everyone. In this section of our Music of World Cultures course, we'll be exploring the continent of Asia. Now, Asia is a very vast area to study, especially since there are about 4 billion people there living within 48 different countries. With that in mind, we'll take a look at three different regions within Asia and examine the music and people from those regions. Within the continent of Asia, we will begin this journey through the Republic of Tuva, which is located in the center part of the continent and is part of the Russian Federation. You'll hear some unusual sounds often referred to as throat singing. This method of producing sound goes beyond entertainment and has been proven useful in calling livestock and human communication in a very mountainous region. After Tuva, we'll then journey to Tibet to visit some Buddhist monks as they perform traditional chant. Like the throat singers of Tuva, some of the Tibetan Buddhist chant performed by monks can be quite unusual sounding. At times, one singer can produce two tones simultaneously called vocal overtones. In our case study video, you'll probably notice their brightly colored garments. And in our last region, we'll look at the mainland China and some musical instruments. The, the music there tends to be based on five note or a pentatonic scale. So instead of our Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do is found in our Western tradition, the Chinese traditional music is slightly different. Uh, two or more common folk instruments include the arhu, a two-string fiddle, and the zheng, which is often called a Chinese zither or a Chinese harp with its many strings. <laughs> 